Well, this is l and Radio. It's the country show with me, Barry Collins, and tonight a very special guest, all the way from the US of A. He goes by the name of C.W. Hi, C.W., welcome to the show. Well, hello there, Barry. It, it sure is a pleasure and an honor to be over here with you, my friend. Well, C.W., I'll tell you, it's great to have you on the show. And what I'm not going to do is mention your age, because... Uh, you and myself are both about the same age, and, and to be honest, all my listeners, although they've never actually met me in, in person, they all believe that I'm 25 years of age, and to be honest, <laughs> I want to keep it that way, so I'm not going to say how old you are. <laughs> but I know you've been playing the guitar for, for quite a few years, but really, what inspired you to take up country music? Well, Barry, uh, I guess from the first time I saw the light of day, as far back as I can remember, uh, my family, we grew up in the deep south of the U.S., and uh, country music was a way of life. That's all we knew. And I remember as a small child, we used to sit around the old radio and listen to WSM Grand Ole Opry. And my mother bought me a guitar when I was only six years old. I'll never forget it. It was an old white, ugly white colored <laughs> Oh, Stella guitar, and it was hard to play. And I played that thing, Barry. I, I, my fingers were bleeding. It was so hard to play. But I, I was uh, determined to learn how to play that guitar, and I did. And by the time I was nine, uh, I had a little bit better guitar. I think I moved up to a, a Sears model, and uh, things went on. And by the time I was about twelve, I was working with a local band. Of course, I couldn't get into the nightclubs and and stuff like that. But then I got in with a, you know, uh, some guys at school, and we started playing the the school hops and all of the concerts. And of course, back then we was doing the old time rock and roll too. And and surprising enough, we did a lot of country at some of the school functions. So that's kind of how I got into it, Barry. And uh, it's just been a life of guitars and music. Uh, all my life and uh, now my mother uh, she had two sisters and uh, if you've ever seen the Lennon sisters on the old Lawrence Wilk show those three ladies my mother and her two sisters I remember them singing together as a small child and I, I tell you uh, Barry they sounded just like the Lennon sisters and that inspired me also I just love that three-part family harmony and uh, all of that, I think, is what, what played a part into, you know, getting the guitar and, and getting started with that. So it's actually your mum's fault, is it? Your mum's to blame, is she, for you going into country music? And I'll tell you what, I can honestly say, I cannot thank your mum enough, because if you hadn't gone into country music, we would have certainly been missing a fantastic guitarist and a star in your own right. Now, uh, coming a little bit nearer to the present day, if we can... Uh, I'd like to talk about some of the, you know, the big country stars that you've worked with, and 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 they've worked with you as well. I believe um, Kitty Wells. I mean, some of the names that you come out with. You know, I sit here every week in the studio and play some of this fantastic country music by these brilliant artists, and and there's you that go around their houses and have cups of coffee with them. How cool is that? Now I'd like to talk to you about Kitty Wells a little bit later on. Uh, and before that, I really would like to talk to you about some of the other great country stars that you've worked with, and they've worked with you. Uh, the likes of Shot Jackson, the famous Nashville Grand Ole Opry star. C.W., can you tell us a little bit more about that? Well, Barry, I met Shot. Uh, I decided I was going to learn to play a pedal steel guitar, and I knew that uh, Shot Jackson uh, made the Showbud steel guitar, which was the probably the top of the line and used by everyone in the music industry who played steel. And so uh, I just drove up to Nashville and... I went to Show Bud, which was right there around the corner from the old Ryman Auditorium where the Grand Ole Opry used to be telecast out of. And I went in there and just figured I'd see a salesman. And uh, lo and behold, there was Shot Jackson. And uh, I got to know the man pretty well. And uh, uh, I bought my steel guitar. And I never became a real steel player, but I could do enough with it to, you know, add some backup tracks on a and a fill-in maybe on a, some of my recordings, which I did a lot. But uh, I got to know Shot. shot a, uh, a friendship developed with him, and when he was down south doing some promos and stuff, uh, 
I'd usually sat in with the group and and worked some of the music with Shot. And uh, he was just an all-around good guy. Uh, really liked him. And uh, Shot, uh, he played with Roy Clark and the Roy Clark family on one of our big uh, TV shows here in the U.S. called Hee Haw. And uh, he was a just a professional dobro player. He was equal in, uh, uh, to uh, Ozzy Oswald, Brother Oswald at the Opry. And, and of course, uh, Schott was no stranger to the Grand Ole Opry, or uh, was his name a stranger to anyone in Nashville. So uh, he was quite a fella, and a real good friendship developed there with Schott. Well, CW, I'll tell you, some of the stories that you come out are absolutely brilliant. I could sit here talking to you all night long, and I'm sure that the listeners are loving it as well. But I want to give you a little break at the moment, a little break from talking. And I know that you've got your guitar with you, so would you mind playing us a piece of your music, anything you like? You know? And uh, I'll tell you what, I can't wait. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it to you to introduce it and tell us a little bit about this music before you play it. Would you do that? And while you're doing that, I'll arrange you a cup of coffee. And then as soon as you finish that... We'll, we'll, I want to talk more about you yourself and uh, the sort of things that you've achieved with country music over the years. So I'll, I'll hand it over to you then. Well, thank you, Barry. I, uh, I can't wait to get that cup of coffee back there, and if you need any help, let me, let me know, and I'll come back here and help you brew a pot of that, that good stuff. Well, Barry, I'll take my little flat-top guitar here, and I'll, I'll try to get it up close to the microphone, and i uh, kind of difficult for me playing without the sound effects and all the, the electronics that we use today but here's a couple of I'll just run through a couple of little thumb picking style numbers I, I do quite a few of these and and uh, one the first one just a little bit of an old Chet Atkins song and and then I'm gonna jump into a song called five foot two eyes are blue and I think it went hoochie coochie coo or something I never did sing it but I did play it and and uh, we'll finish with that one, and and uh, let's see what kind of sound we got just just coming up close to the microphone with this little flat top guitar. Mm -hmm. Okay, Barry, I'm ready for that coffee. 